Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we're Let's Playing Blood Omen 2, Legacy of Cain. In the last episode, we made it through majority of the warehouse. And now we're here at somewhere. We're in the sewers, looking for the sanctuary. If I can ever find it, it's like taking forever. God. Let's hope, uh, let's hope this Soul Sanctuary BS is worth it. That's for sure. Anyways, the jump thing's not gonna work. Screw it. Stop it. There we go. Don't hit me. Die, die, die! I will drink your blood. Cause that's what I do, I'm a vampire. Drinking the blood. Drinking it right out of the wounds that I made on your fucking neck. I was about to drop the F bomb. Wowie. Anyways, uh, now we got our next quote unquote puzzle, which includes a door. Big old door. And that's really it, a door. And can I jump over there? No. Oh no, the door shuts. So that means we only have a limited amount of time, but here's this ladder which we can climb up. Climbing up. And we come over here to whoa. What's their what's a dead body doing over here? I thought I'm the only one making dead bodies around here. But whatever, I'll take it. Okay. Yes. Drink from the blood of the innocent. And now what do we need to do? Oh, we gotta go up here. Oh! Yeah, that's all we had to do. Hello. Oh yeah! You didn't even get like the jump on me, dude. Come on, you saw me jumping and you didn't even do anything. You just sat there, afraid. So what we need to do is move this block down there. And then move over here. No! Oh god! Jeez, Kane, maybe instead of flapping like a fish out of water in water, you could have like... Try to get out of the water. Sure, it's an intense pain. Think of it like you're in lava, I guess. I guess that's how you could describe how Kane feels when he's in water. But damn, you can get out of that. Jeez. Water sucks. It really, really sucks, at least for this game. It's no fun. Yeah, so what is that, like the third or fourth time I've died? Anyways, I will get better. Hopefully. Anyways, over here, you gotta climb up the ladder. And let's get that block. First, let's suck on the, uh, the already corpsed. So, you know, it's kind of interesting, Kane was the last vampire in the last game, and the last Blood Omen I'm talking about, and all of a sudden there's a huge thing of vampires, I wonder if Kane knew how to do it, how to make vampires. Like, they really don't explain how vampires are made, other than that one that Kane was made into via the Necromacer or Mortanius. Now push the block, fall down, and be very, 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 very careful. Alright, now we need to move the block over here, flick the switch over there, and then move the block over so that the, uh, that the door will uh, stay closed, or open, I mean. But anyways, they don't really explain, so like, after Kane became, you know, ruler of the world or whatever, you know, the last vampire and whatnot, like, how did he make more vampires? Like, did he suck their blood and then, and then, 
like, I don't know. Because obviously the way that the, they made vampires before, I mean, there were other vampires that must have made, you know, they don't really explain how it, how it's made, how it's done. Alright, now over here you gotta quickly come over here and climb up, go up the stairs before the water comes back. And we're over here. What the hell's going on? Hey, it's the, it's the tan, the tan thugs versus the pale thugs. Are they training for the Thug Olympics? Or are they just... I don't know what the hell to do. But we'll... We'll, we'll bask in the uh, chaos. Yay! Yeah, so apparently Kane must have made some vampires. And then they made vampires. And then they made vampires, and so on and so forth. Camera one, camera two. All right, come on, drink, die, and let me drink from you. Let's open up this door. But first, let's go back here. All right, dude, you can be afraid. All right, there was nothing over here. Yeah, man, this place has got to get over with soon. Jeez. Creature skulks there in the darkness. Step forth and die! Whoa. Don't be a dick. Anyways, those are new new enemies. They're called Glyph Guards, a Glyph Seraphan. And basically, I guess how it works is whenever uh oh the alarm. Anyways, I guess how it works is whenever, uh, whenever Kane comes near the, uh, Seraph, those Seraphim, they glow so they know that there's some sort of unholy presence or some shit like that. Which means you can't use mist on them, sadly, and you can't, um, you can't really sneak by them. But, alright, we killed those Seraphim. Now there's an alarm going off, and we need to turn off that alarm. Otherwise, the Seraphim will just keep coming after us. And they can't come up on the rooftops, but... Let's see. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's a random crow, of course. And as you can tell, Kane is doing all this, I guess, in one night so far. It's pretty crazy. Alright, let's pick up more lore and come down over here. Now, this is like a little Seraphan headquarters. This is actually where we need to go, but this son of a bitch. Yeah, and the Seraphim guard, uh, or the uh, Glyph guards actually have a shield, so it could, it, could, it could be a huge pain in order to kill them. Because they block a lot more. There we go, dead. And every time you kill one of them, now a new guy comes up. Alright, I want to get away. Shut this damn alarm off. Alright, now no more Seraphim will pop out. So let's drink. Hey! No one interrupts me while I'm feeding. 
And if you do it correctly, you can actually hit these Seraphim as they're getting up, and then they'll never block, so it's pretty nice. These guys got a lot of blood as well. I mean, they got a ton of blood. Not as much blood as, as an enemy's leader will have, but they've got a good amount. And look at that, we've gained, quote unquote, a new level. Okay, so let's go through there. And this is the last area of the uh, lower city here. And let's see, there's a mist, so be on guard. Oh, he saw me, what the hell? How'd you do that? Oh well, it doesn't matter. He's dead! And I like drink. Okay, so... We want to come this way because we can't go any further that way. So let's open up the uh, the gate here and uh, go through. And as you can see, looks like there's some dead folk over there. Yeah, bunch of just dead stuff. soul has the misfortune of interrupting my feeding. One who shares your thirst and your curse. Ah, a voice from the past. So the rumors are true. Cain walks Nosgoth again. How do you know me, creature? How I would love to dispatch you here and now. And yet, I am required elsewhere. Good night. Wait. And that guy is running away. Actually, that uh, vampire there, he is, his name is Sebastian, and uh, he uh, is one of Kane's former friends, who, who, former vampire general guys, and now we have to quote unquote chase him, but you know what, he left behind some dudes, might as well not, not like let them go to waste or whatever. But yeah, that guy is Sebastian, and he used to be one of Cain's uh, buddies, just like uh, Faustus used to be. And I think Cain had maybe four or five different dudes and dudettes in his, uh, in his uh, I guess, guard or whatever. But yeah, now we gotta chase him. on the rooftops anymore without a vampire coming up and just murdering the hell out of you. Yay! How do you like my handiwork, Kane? It's been a good night's feeding. You're a sloppy butcher, vampire. You jeopardize your presence by such bloodletting. But it isn't my presence that's in danger, Kane. It's yours. You serve the Seraphan, then? I serve no one but myself. Ah, I'd forgotten how much I loathe your arrogant tone. It will be a pleasure to silence it for good. We shall meet again soon enough. Look at that, Cain just let Sebastian go. Well, that's alright, because I'm sure we'll meet him again. Now, this is truly, officially, the final section of the lower city. We have to get to the blue shop. That's right up here. The blue lady's curio. But it's right over there, so 
we need to get rid of the green thing. And look at that. This thing says, what does it say over here? Hill House. Wait a minute, that's a, that's a, I think that's a middle school in my area, Hill House. Although I'm thinking it's probably an inn in this game. It was established in 1246. Nice. Who knows how old it really is? Because no one knows how old the damn what year this is supposed to be. Anyways, what we're supposed to do here is jump on these blocks. Well, let's, okay, there's none over there. What we have to do is jump on these blocks here and take the lore stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, then we gotta go down there. But you know what? I'm gonna save that for the next episode where I guarantee we will meet, we will get to the sanctuary and all that. So, yeah, this has been Kenshin 1913, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.